by Mark Stone, Europe correspondent, in Brussels, disputed president of Catalonia has told Sky News the Spanish state has damaged democracy in order to stop independence. In an exclusive interview with Sky News, Carles Puigdemont said the European Union is failing to recognize the reality of the situation in Catalonia and failing to act in the face of authoritarian actions. It is very disappointing that in Europe, we are all in a situation where Europe can respond to situations in Hungary and Poland but not in Catalonia, he said, speaking from a secret location in Brussels. To be treated like a criminal, like a drug trafficker, a pedophile, like a serial killer. I think this is abuse. This ISNT politics, this is using the courts to do politics. Mr. Pugdemont is the subject of a European arrest warrant which he is appealing through the Belgian courts. He is wanted in Spain on crimes of rebellion, sedition and misuse of public funds after the 1st of October referendum and subsequent declaration of independence, both deemed illegal by the Spanish government. Video ousted leader Carles Pugdemont will cooperate, he said, the crime I am accused of is totally mad, it's vengeance, it is very, very unpleasant for me. I am not a rebel. I don't know have the spirit of a rebel or the wish to be one. I just want to follow what my parliament has approved, he said. It's very uncomfortable to have this role of rebel. The exiled president left Barcelona for Brussels a week ago. He claims he is not running from justice but seeking it. He said he will not receive a fair trial in Madrid. Eight Catalan ministers, who appeared in court, in Madrid last week, have been denied bail and jailed pending their trial. After the referendum, the Spanish government triggered Article 155 of its constitution, removing Catalonia of its autonomy and dissolving the parliament. Fresh elections were called by Madrid for 21 December in an attempt to defuse the situation and settle the matter. The gamble by Madrid is that anti-independence parties will secure the most votes. He said the Spanish state has damaged democracy in order to stop independence because through democracy which is the only thing we believe in, the reality is undeniable. So, we need to recover that democracy that has been damaged by the Spanish state. No European country has recognized his declaration of independence and the European Commission has repeatedly said the matter is a domestic one for Spain. In a clear expression of disappointment and even isolation, he said we deserve respect and to be listened to maybe not understood, but don't just listen to one side, listen to everyone. Video Spain seeks European arrest warrant for Catalan leader he said that the Catalan people deserved respect. I admit that it's not a pleasant reality in Catalonia, but what's happening in Catalonia is real. The problem is that the EU doesn't recognize the reality, he said. The result of the 1st of October referendum was 90% for yes, but it was secured on a low turnout of just over 40%. Most anti-independence voters boycotted the vote. How does that make his independence declaration valid, he was asked. Yes, they are very good questions. In conditions with a very aggressive state, chasing confiscating ballot boxes, arresting politicians and propaganda, 43% turnout is a miracle, he said. He said that the number of Catalans who voted yes was bigger than the number who voted yes to the Catalan Statue of Autonomy, implying that the independence vote was legitimate. Asked whether he would accept the result of the 21st of December election, he said he was ready to accept the result of a proper referendum. The election is not exactly a referendum. It's an abnormal situation. He suggested the December vote would not be objective because people would fear the consequences of voting with independence parties. In recent weeks more than 2,000 companies have moved their headquarters out of Catalonia, concerned about the uncertainty economic impact of the crisis. He blamed their relocation not on his own declaration of independence but on the Spanish government for introducing a law making relocation out of Catalonia easier. The economic cost of authoritarian actions on Catalonia will be paid by the whole of the EU not just Catalonia, it's not very intelligent to declare an economic war to fight against Catalonia. Catalonia accounts for 2% of European Union growth. The region has a growth rate of 3.5% which is now threatened by the crisis.